what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video you will learn how the rear wing or spoiler of car works and how the angle of attack affects the drag so without spending much time let's start now here we are having the aerofoil basically it's a curved structure for giving the optimum ratio of lift and drag or downforce and drag this is the inverted aerofoil for producing the downforce the front is called the leading edge and the rear is called the trailing edge here, these are the air particles. Basically, they are the air streamlines. Now, as the air passes through the airfoil, it gets deflected, like this. At the top, the streamlines are following the smooth curve of aerofoil, and at the bottom, you can see it is squeezed at the leading edge and then diverges at the end of the trailing edge. Finally, it meets the upward air. What's happening at the squeezed part? Basically, it's a venturi effect. When the air moves from the large cross section area to the smaller cross section area, its velocity increases and the pressure decreases. This leads to the decrease in pressure here and the increase in velocity. At the top, we are having the pressure P1. At bottom, the pressure is P2. P1 is greater than P2. So effectively, we are having the downforce. One thing to note here, why the lines are not going straight? Why they are getting attached to the airfoil? The explanation is here. Here you can see that the streamlines are going straight at the bottom with a small deflection. This will create the vacuum in this region. As the air has a tendency to move from higher pressure region to the lower pressure, all the air will rush to the low pressure vacuum region. That's why the streamlines of air get attached at the bottom and generates a downforce. Along with the downforce, the drag is also produced because of Newton's third law. You are pushing the air, you are slowing the air at the rear so the air will also push you and resist your motion. And this resisting by the air is called drag. Now let's see the spoilers or the rear wings. Here, this is your car spoiler. As the streamlines of the air comes and hit the leading edge, they get deflected, generating the higher pressure at top and lower pressure at bottom. This results in downforce. Now, as you know that, the top is at high pressure and bottom is at low pressure. This pressure difference will lead to the rushing of air from high pressure top to low pressure bottom, generating vortices. What actually these vortices do? Building of vortices leads to a decrease in pressure at the trailing edge. The front, we are having the high pressure and the rear, we are having the low pressure. This will lead to a generation of drag. For the prevention of vortices, we use end plates. But this will not prevent the vortices completely. Still, we are having the high pressure at the top and the low pressure at the sides. This will lead to generation of vertices again. For decreasing this effect of vertices, small slots called louvers are made at the end plates for mixing the high pressure inside air with the outside air. So the pressure at top is P1, it rushes out from the louvers, getting mixed with the outside pressure, let P3. The combination of these two pressure gives us the pressure P4, which is lower as compared to P1. As the P1 is still greater than P4, small amount of vertices will develop again. Now, preventing this too, the cuts at the end of the plates are also made. The pressure outside is P4 and the pressure at the bottom is P2. As the P4 is greater than P2, it will generate the vertices but in opposite direction and cancelling the previous vertices. So this is how the wing generates the downforce for the better traction and grip. Now let's understand what is angle of attack. This is your wing side view. The distance between the leading and the trailing edge is called the chord length. The relative velocity of the air is in this direction. The angle made by the direction of the relative velocity and the chord length is called the angle of attack. In this view of the wing, we get the total length of the wing called span. The ratio of span to the chord length is called the aspect ratio. So how angle of attack affects the downforce and drag? Let's see. Here, there are two curves one between the coefficient of lift cl versus the angle of attack alpha and other is between the drag coefficient cd versus the angle of attack these curves are from naca 0012 aerofoils at some aspect ratio the coefficient of lift cl is given by lift force divided by the dynamic pressure multiplied by frontal area basically it's a dimensionless quantity and lift or downforce increases on increasing the coefficient of lift. Similarly, the drag coefficient is given by CD equals to drag force divided by dynamic pressure multiplied by frontal area. 
You can see from the first curve between lift coefficient and attack angle. On increasing the attack angle, the lift coefficient increases and at an angle of about minus 15 degree, it is maximum. And after that, it is decreasing. At the same time, we are having near to maximum value of drag coefficient at minus 15 degree. So why this is happening? On increasing the angle of aerofoil up to minus 15 degree leads to the separation of boundary layer. This separation is because the fast moving air has a greater momentum and is not able to bend and follow the aerofoil curve again. This leads to generation of vacuum in this region and again the high pressure at the front and vacuum at the rear causes the large amount of drag. That's why choosing an optimum angle of attack according to the curve of aerofoil at particular aspect ratio will give you the good downforce with less drag. So this is all about the rear wings or spoiler and angle of attack. This much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Do like the video. If you find the video useful, do share it. Also subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest update. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and software, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.